Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of FIOT, Fundamentals of Internet of Things. In today's class, we are going to learn about applications of IoT. Okay. So there are vast applications of IoT in from which we are going to uh, cover most of the applications with respect to IoT, where internet is connecting several things. Okay. So coming to the first application. So first application is the most famous application which is nothing but a smart home system where all the devices or all the things or all the appliances are connected um, in a home through a internet or a network. Okay. So let us assume a smart lighting system. Okay. So here what we are doing is smart lighting system can be activated automatically or else manually. Suppose we place some sensors okay so which detects some sort of light okay suppose as soon as the sun goes down or there is a darkness in that particular area okay the sensor senses that particular uh, uh, light okay and it switch on and off that particular light which is present in that particular area not only that we can also switch on and off manually using a smartphone connected to an uh, internet through this particular lighting system okay and coming to the smart appliances smart appliances can be uh, our tv android tv nowadays all the tvs are smart tvs right everything is connected to a wi-fi present in the tv right okay so it can be an uh, cctv security cameras okay so or it can be a refrigerator or it can be an ac okay all the parameters of a refrigerator can be monitored using a screen okay and uh, we already know the cctv cameras everything surveillance can be done through that particular cctv camera and using an internet we can uh, monitor what's going on in that particular home through office or some other places okay and um, ac we can also regulate the acs and everything okay so and coming to the smoke and gas detector suppose there is an uh, this is the most traditional one where if at all there is a fire occurrence in the offices and homes, okay, villas or somewhat like that, we come across seeing that there will be uh, air, uh, now water sprinklers or a fire extinguisher which uh, switches on automatically, right, based on the sensors, okay. So all these things can be considered as the home uh, uh, smart systems where we can monitor the weather in the home, air conditioning in the home, as I already said, lighting, CCTV surveillance, we can also uh, manipulate or alter the audio uh, of a music system. Okay, we can watch whatever we like through a smart TV connected to an internet. We obviously, we'll be using some mobile phones and PCs, everything. Okay, all this falls under home, smart home systems, which is a part of applications of IoT. Okay, now coming to the cities. Okay, so these are somewhat... Uh, uh, where we apply this particular IOTs, okay? So smart parkings, uh, smart roads, okay? Structural health monitoring, emergency response, okay? Suppose some accident occurs in a particular uh, road in a city, okay? So there are some uh, high definition cameras which captures those things, okay? Or else uh, uh, the vehicle itself will be having some sort of sensor technology which sends some message to a particular cities okay so if at all the vehicle is speeding more okay than the required uh, speed there will be a uh, challenge generated automatically okay so smart parking it also shows which slot is free in that particular apartment or an um, mall or somewhat like that it can also be and not only that we can see many 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 more applications like uh, 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 3d map as well as interactions okay weather kind of sensors, public announcements, okay, uh, water management, energy control, waste management, okay, uh, tracking the people down in the cities, okay. So everything can be smart uh, with respect to the cities, okay. Coming to the another application, environment, okay. Environment, uh, we also apply these Internet of Things to the environment, which is very, very uh, essential nowadays, okay. So weather monitoring, day-to-day -day weather monitoring, we can get uh, weather forecasting, we can say. We can also monitor the air pollution using some sort of sensors, okay? And suppose you place a sensor in a particular area, okay? And we can get the data of that particular uh, air present in that particular area to our database or a system which 
uh, which is located far away kilometers in an office okay and we can also uh, predict the noise pollution how much noise pollution is occurring in the particular area or a city okay and not only that the most famous one is the forest fire detection if at all there are some fires okay uh, occurred in the forest most of the foreign countries we came uh, we already came across so many incidents like uh, we have seen a several forest fire incidents right? fire can also be detected based on the uh, requirements all these things comes under the essential parts of an application of iot okay and coming to the energies okay so most of the uh, parts of the world are already into this particular energies applied to an iot system and not only that okay in india several parts of the states are also in integrated or implemented this kind of uh, uh, smart grids and renewable energy systems where we can also track down the parameters and analytics of this particular energy system okay we using uh, a smartphone or a laptop okay suppose a solar energy is placed or an uh, uh, some kind of uh, uh, windmills okay or placed okay renewable energies wherever are there all the smart grids from which we get some sort of source or energy okay all those things can be monitored the health status of the particular panels or the windmills or the renewable energy uh, machines can also be uh, monitored and altered okay according to that coming to the next applications of iot retail sector okay so suppose we get into a supermarket let us say that particular supermarket is a smart supermarket okay so as soon as you pick a particular product okay so uh, uh, scanning that particular product generating automatic generation of that bill once the bill has been uh, done that bill will be automatically coming to your phone number okay so and not only that it can be a smart vending machines okay so through some sort of smart payments okay so uh, several new concepts are appearing appearing okay so with the help of this particular internet of things uh, technology okay in the re uh, retail aspect as well okay and coming to the logistics okay so these logistics are very much integrated into uh, airways waterways okay and landways as well okay so route generations and scheduling like uh, google maps okay or uh, uh, tracking the particular vehicles or supply and uh, fleet tracking wherever that particular goods vehicle is going okay at at what time it reaches and we can also monitor the vehicle status as well okay shipment monitoring remote vehicle diagnosis it all everything falls under the same concept okay coming to the uh, logistics where we can exactly estimate the time of the login and logout of the vehicles where the vehicle is uh, we can also monitor the particular uh, parameters of the vehicles as well okay so all these things falls under the uh, logistics which is a part of application of fiber okay coming to the agriculture okay so agriculture monitoring through iot is one of the famous and intelligent and smart way to monitor the crop okay we can also uh, monitor the health status uh, status of the plant we can monitor the oxygen levels over there or some gases levels over there we can also monitor the uh, uh, dry soil uh, moisturing uh, controls okay we can also manipulate the motors present in the fields and everything okay so in order to have or grow a particular agriculture or an uh, uh, field in a proper way and to yield more uh, more and more outputs okay smart uh, agriculture can be implemented with the help of internet of things okay so through an internet a farmer can see the status of the crop or the motor uh, or several sensor status of a particular soil or crop sitting in the home itself okay so this is one of the very much uh, scope as well as advantages for the agriculture which is an important part of an application so iot okay coming to the industry okay this is already implemented in most of the industries okay so coming from starting from the machines as well as sensors starting from the tools everything processing analytics connectivity and getting the alerts if there are any accidents occurring in the industries 
everything can be monitored we can also on and off a particular machinery or we can also change the alteration of that particular flow present in the industries okay and if at all there are any toxic gases releasing in that particular industry we can also monitor those things using this particular uh, industrial applications of iot very much uh, helpful as well as important coming to the health and lifestyle okay so uh, it's been these sensors were uh, a part of much more research and nowadays it's been uh, a famous application as due to the covid as well most of the people are wearing smart watches nowadays okay so to monitor their health status or to monitor their fitness uh, uh, monitoring calorie these things okay so a wearable smart is best example to monitor our health status not only that some of the uh, electronic gadgets or the wearable devices for the health are designed in such a way that our parameters can be sent to the particular uh, doctor or family doctor or a, a particular uh, associated uh, hospitals through a continuous checkup or a monitoring of this particular uh, health status okay so health and lifestyle is also one of the major parts where internet of things are uh, connected to it okay so all these applications of iot are very very uh, much helpful and also smart and also prominent playing a pro prominent role in our applications of iot everything is useful and not at all a waste okay thank you